Good morning, you guys. It's like 6.30 or something in the morning. I've been up for a little while, but I want to come down here and shoot my bow for a little bit and kind of give you guys a little bit of a rundown on what I'm going to be doing today. So today is a good day. My wife just got out of the hospital. She had a little bit of a complication with the pregnancy, but she's doing really well now. So we spent the last couple days running around like chickens with our heads cut off trying to figure out the uh, kid. Anyway, it was frustrating, but she's doing good now. And, and thanks to everybody who reached out and said nice things. I didn't talk about it too much on social media, but I know a few of you knew and, and said some good things. So. Everything's good with that. Now I'm here, I'm gonna shoot my bow. I'm gonna do maybe a cooking video today. I haven't done one in a long time and I'm kinda craving some smoked, maybe do a pork butt or a pork shoulder. I don't know, something like that sounds good. But for now, I'm gonna sling some arrows down field. I know you guys, if you watched my other archery video the other day, I showed kinda like dialing in my one pin sight. I think I have it really close, but I always like to take it out again and shoot immediately after and see you know, if there was wind or if there was, maybe I was pulling one way or the other and see if I just have some good consistency after shooting for a while. Um, and then I also am super stoked to try these things out. He showed up in the mail. Um, it's been a couple days now, but these are the Vortex Fury 10 by 42 with the built-in range finder. And so I am gonna be using these bad boys today. I'm getting ready for later in the week when I'm gonna head to South Dakota. Terry Peak for an archery shoot. It's gonna be fun. I know I said North Dakota in the other video and I screwed it up, I was wrong. So that's what I'm up to today. You guys think about my new fridge. So our fridge died, kind of. It's just not as cold as it should be. Stuff was going bad in it. So we called the repair guy. He's supposed to come out here and fix it. But until then, I got the Yeti 125 loaded down with ice on the back porch. Comes in handy. Glad I didn't get rid of it when the NRA thing happened. Glad I can see through that. But the main thing that I want to do today is gonna be right there. I'm gonna fire up that smoker. I got a pork shoulder that I'm gonna cook on there. And then I also have a bunch to do to get ready for South Dakota. I'm leaving tomorrow morning, I think. Um, I'm gonna be in South Dakota for a few days. We're going to the Total Archery Challenge out there. We're gonna drive. So that's like a very <laughs> serious road trip for us. But it's gonna be with the guys from Canvas Cutter. I'm looking forward to it. I also wanna show you guys something else that came in. It's right here in the house, but we gotta be quiet because my kids are sleeping. Boom. What? Okay, so this scout, this box is all about scouting. I'm gonna show you a few of the items. This is a nice memory card case. This is a good saw. Me and my buddy Troy have been using the same saw for years and I'm excited to find out a new one. And then, what? Anyway, as always, there's a link to Hunter's Hall in the description of this video right here. You guys go check them out. Use my promo code SHEDCRAZY. It'll give you a better deal on one. Thank you to Hunter's Hall for sponsoring the channel. Anyway, let's go have a good day. Ooh yeah, how does that look? So that's a pork shoulder. It's called a pork butt. I think from my extensive internet knowledge. Now, I've got it all rubbed up because I forgot to start filming before I did it. Someone suggested in a previous video that you put yellow mustard on it and then use it to rub, which is awesome, but we threw our mustard away when our fridge went out. So this is the way we're rolling with it right now. We're gonna go throw it on the smoker. This is like the easiest recipe ever. So we got the camp chef started up, rolling a little bit of smoke. And we're gonna throw this thing on there and we're gonna put a fat side up. Just like this for two to 
to three hours. That's gonna get the smoke infused and then we're gonna pull it off of there, put it on the roasting pan, close it down for another six to eight hours and we're gonna spritz it with apple juice like every hour probably and make sure it stays moist on the outside. And uh, about nine hours from now, we're gonna have some shredded pork for tacos and sandwiches. It's gonna be awesome. What's up boys? You're in the hammock? That's good. You having fun? Yeah. Good. Every time I pull out this camera, the boys start trying to talk over each other louder because they want to be in the videos. They're smart. They've like finally put it together that if they talk when I'm talking into the camera, then they'll get to see themselves in the video later on and they love it. Do you know what this is? Do you have any idea what this is right here? Can you even see it? Is it in focus? It's a Brussels sprout. Now, what are we doing? Don't get me wrong. I like Brussels sprouts. I like eating healthy food. You'd be surprised to know that most fat people like healthy food. We do. We like everything else too, that's the problem. It's not that we don't like healthy food, it's that we like all kinds of food. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about something that I haven't talked to anybody about yet. Well, just a couple people. It's below, it's under the radar for sure. It's not well known. You guys probably, a lot of you know me from Instagram as like the funny fat guy, right? That's always kind of been my thing. I've never been somebody who cares about fitness. I've never cared about really getting in shape until I noticed that it was starting to hold me back when I was hunting. So I made a few changes a year ago, and I haven't even told anybody about this. A year ago, this month, I quit sugar. I know it's gonna come as a shock to a lot of you because I'm all about the little Debbies and the jokes and everything, right? But I quit. Me and my dad and my brother, we made a bet and we've been done with sugar for a year. And it's helped me maintain about 20 pounds lighter than I typically would, which is sad to know that sugar was contributing that much to me being out of shape. Now the hunts are rolling around and I've been thinking of a way to try to step it up a notch for the hunts. Now, I don't care about looks. I'm not that guy. You know, I'm never gonna take my shirt off and flex. I'm not, I'm not that guy. That's just not the way, that's not what I do but I do wanna be able to hunt the hardest I can possibly hunt. For me, that's the first motivation I've ever found that really gets in my head, is I wanna be able to climb the hills, I wanna be able to haul the heavy packs, I wanna be able to hike all day. I don't want my health and my fitness to ever hold me back from being able to have a chance at an animal or at a successful hunt or to do things the way that I wanna do them. So I'm making some changes. I don't know if I'm gonna post this right away, I probably won't, but I'm starting a 90 day challenge. And it's actually probably gonna be a 60 day challenge because the bow hunt starts in 60 days. I spent a couple hours on the phone last night with my boy, Eric Chester, you guys know Eric. Eric is one of the most motivational dudes when it comes to fitness, anything. And I've been kind of hinting around and talking to him about this for a long time, but I've decided to pull the trigger. I got a pretty good meal plan set up that's gonna be easy, it's gonna be high protein. I like to eat vegetables, it's no big deal. So it's gonna be clean proteins and vegetables and low carb and I'm starting an exercise plan. I've never consistently gone to the gym in my life and I think I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go today, get a gym membership and I'm gonna start along with this thing I've been doing, getting up early in the morning, going to the gym. Now you guys are probably thinking, oh great, this just turned into a fitness thing. No, I'm just gonna keep you updated. One, because I want to be accountable to somebody. I wanna show you guys what I'm doing and I want you guys to hold me accountable to it. And um, two, if there's anybody out there who wants to get in shape for the hunts, it's that simple, wants to be able to hunt harder and hike harder, I wanna do something about it. Um, I want anybody out there who is interested to do something about it with me. Um, I'm gonna do hunting related exercises. My cardio is gonna be hiking pretty much. It's gonna be things that'll help me be a better hunter. My weightlifting that I'm gonna do is gonna be all designed about building up my strength so that I can do those heavy pack outs and those heavy packs of sheds, strengthening my leg muscles, I'm not trying to get buff, I don't care, but I do care about being able to hunt how I wanna hunt. And if you do too, let's do it together. Um, I, As part of this, I'm gonna do some supplementation um, with Mountain Ops. I talked to Jordan about doing this a while ago and he thought it was a decent idea. Um, so part of mine is gonna be doing some shakes, some protein shakes with Mountain Ops. Um, and I'll probably use some of their cardio enhancers um, and maybe some of their energy stuff just for the workouts. I've been using it for a long time. I've been using the energy and focus side of things, the slumber. So that's what I'm gonna be doing the next couple months. I'm starting, here I am, hold me accountable. So it looks like I'm somewhere around that 255. 
starting point. I do have <laughs> my keys, my phone, and my pocket. Um, I guess I should take all that stuff out, but I'm not, I wasn't gonna strip down and get naked. Um, I also have my shoes and stuff on, so realistically, I'm probably about 250 pounds, and uh, we're gonna see what it'll do. Is it ironic that I'm making a fitness video while this baby's rolling smoke? Ooh, look at that. The good thing about it is, is like, pork has high protein. It is kind of high fat, but as long as you eat it in moderation, you know, we're good to go. Side note, how good does that sticker look? This is a logo that's gonna be going on some hats and shirts and stuff, at least the early concept of a logo that's gonna be going on some hats and shirts. And my wife has a vinyl cutter and she cut me some stickers and they turned out awesome. Well, I just joined a gym, Anytime Fitness. Uh, it took about six minutes. All you have to do is give them your name, your information. I had to pay 50 bucks up front for a key to the gym and my first month. And after this, it'll be 30 bucks a month. So super cheap. I pay more than that for things that I don't want to talk about, but just junk food. I buy way more than $30 a month and just crap. So that's worth it to me to have a place where I can come. So I'm going to try to do an hour a day when I get up early, half hour of cardio and a half hour of lifting. And uh, I'm going to be pumped. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Hopefully. Got enough pellets to finish her off there. Never put your fingers in there. Looking good. So I'm gonna throw it into this roasting pan. I'm gonna spritz it with some apple cider. And we're gonna let it roast until it gets that slow cook goodness going on. Now, make sure that you use tongs or a glove or something to do this part. a little bottle. Uh, don't be mistaken, this is not urine, it's actually apple cider, and you just give her a little bit of that spritzy love there. Do a little finer mist. That's what we're talking about. I'll put a little down in the bottom there. Yeah. Now, we're gonna let this thing heat up. We got it set at 250 right now, so we'll probably just leave it there and we'll let it slow cook all day. So every once in a while, just give it her old spritz. Here we are. Internal temperature, about 190. Let's see if this thing's ready to shred. Ooh, look at that. Look at all the juices. I'd say that's for tender. They make a special tool for this, but I do not own it. So I'm just gonna do it with forks here, and then I'm gonna go through and get all the fat out. And just like that, we're done with some delicious pork tacos. Thanks for watching this cooking segment. Super hard. Buy meat, season it, put it in the smoker, wait. Easiest thing ever, that's the only kind of stuff I like to cook.